Hey guys, this is Rene, welcome back for another video on this channel. Today talking about the 50k live trading account project again. And it's been one week <laughs> that I uploaded the last summary of the performance and this week I will do it again. It might be boring to some of you guys, but I mean, I will monitor this anyway, so I will also record it. And to me, it's actually very, very interesting to see which of these strategies performed and especially why, I mean, if I do these summaries and have a look at like what strategy performed, what did not, I also have a look at the charts always and um, try to interpret the, the results. So for example, if I see go long strategy performed well or did not perform well, then I will have a look at the overall performance of the index and I see if it's kind of aligned or if it is not aligned. Like for example, if we see here the US 30 in the last week, uh, which started at the 20th of May, It was just very, very bad. So I will assume or I expect that the go long strategy also made a lot of losses in this week in this strategy. So I will have to put it uh, like on top of each other and compare it. And yeah, same, same thing for the other strategies. I always try to figure out like why a strategy worked why it did not work and this is also important for learning because I will learn a lot about the programs and I will of course also see like if I do have to change something because if there is one strategy for example that is not performing at all um, in this case of course I will have to have to do something because this is not just some uh, small or big FTMO or whatever prop firm challenge where I do not lose money. This is um, where I trade my own money. So I'm, I'm really invested here <laughs> with money and also emotionally because I think it's a very, very cool project. So yeah, let's have a look at the performance. So first of all, here on the server, we can see currently the account is at 20,600. So I invested 15K of this. So there's a profit of 5,600 euro. I think one week ago, it was a little bit higher. It was 21,000 roughly. So we made some losses and I assume this is mainly because of the indices. But yeah, we will have a look at this. Also, if you also want to learn how to write automated trading strategies and if you want to become an automated trader, which is definitely a path that I can recommend because it is without any doubt uh, doubt what made me profitable. When I was not trading automatically, I was not profitable. But uh, ever since I started trading with automated trading strategies, it was way better. So check out the link below this video if you want to learn more. You will find a complete programming course which is absolutely suitable for beginners. So this is on my server. And here, of course, I cannot really make a good analysis because the trades in the history look like this and it's not really uh, telling me a lot. So what I did is I exported the trades here already and imported them into my trade buddy trading journal. And this is what we can see here. So you can see I just uploaded the last few trades here. So you can see all of the trades until the last Friday, 24th of uh, May are here. So now I have the total, yeah, roughly two months now for this account um, in my trade body and I can make the analysis. So if we have a look at the graph first, let me find the 20s of, um, of May here so we can see graphically how much profit and loss was generated. And yeah, last time I did the analysis, yeah, the account was... Yeah, just what I said. Last time I'd made the analysis, the account was um, 6,100 something euro in profit. So the last week there was a loss of 500 euro. Also, I just realized the longer I trade this account that these fluctuations in the equity do not really bother me mentally anymore. So if I see that on one day I lose 1K or I make 1K, it's not as big as a problem anymore mentally as it was in the beginning when I traded this account. And I talked about this in other videos. In the beginning, it was a bit challenging because there were just losses. I just started at a very bad point in time for these specific strategies. But now I got a little bit used to it. And I also saw that the drawdown was recovered. Like everything is 
now, now it becomes normal because whenever you trade, you will have good days, you will have bad days. And I think it takes some time or it took some time for me to get used to these new numbers because uh, before I traded this account, I was just trading a very small life account and I was not trading more money. And now if I win or lose 500 euro on a day, it's uh, yeah, it's more okay. I get used to it. So yeah, let's have a look at, the, um, at, at where we can find these 500 euros lost. Um, before we do this, let's have a look at the overall performance. As I said, total net profit is around 5,600 now. Profit factor is great, 1.3. If I can keep this up for live trading, it would be brilliant. Uh, 200, over 200 trades now. Of course, a lot more long positions because of the, yeah, a lot of these strategies just go long. And um, yeah, more, more profitable trades than losing trades. And also, let's have a look at the, the average, the average profit trade, this interesting, is pretty close to the average loss trade. Average, average loss trades are a little bit higher, but yeah, on the other hand, we have, we have a lot more uh, winning trades than losing trades, so everything's fine. So let's have a look at the filter now. So filtering for, um, I don't know if we should all already go ahead and filter for, for, for weeks now, because I could, of course, do this. I could filter from the 19th, to the 25th to just have the last week. Yeah, this might be interesting. I mean, we can see like what I just said. We lost 540 in the last week. Performance looks like this. Was mainly, I think, yeah, I remember this. There was one bad day. I think it was Thursday when the indices just went down. So let's have a look at this. Uh, especially, yeah, especially US 30 had a very bad trade. Yeah, I think it was this, this trade here where, where, where the US 30, the US index, biggest stock index in the US, I think, um, went down 1.5%, and this, of course, had a huge impact on the account. And this alone was a losing trade of like like 700, I think. Let me let me find this quickly. Yeah, it lost 700 on this one trade. So this, of course, where a lot of these losses are coming from, and it's completely like if I have a look at the chart, I, I, in my mind, I say, okay, this is of course to be expected. If the index goes down and the strategy is always invested, of course, I take the loss. But yeah, that's fine. So actually, I'm surprised that I didn't lose more last week. So let's have a look how the other strategies did. Uh, overall, last week, 22 trades. Yeah, this loss. So let's go through the symbols. We will see, and, and this is still for the last week, that um, uh, go long strategy in US 30. Yeah, this made a huge loss last week, 1.2K. In US tech, the go long strategy made a actually a profit, which is interesting, 400 euro profit. So US tech gained value last week. And then we have um, the DE40. I think this one also lost, pretty sure. Yeah, lost 400 euro in the go long strategy in the German index. Yeah, a little bit unfortunate because I think the German index did not lose that much the last week. Um, yeah. Still have to figure out what I do with this strategy, but for now, I will just keep it. Okay, so this was for the go long strategy. Now let's go to the range breakout strategy. So let's range breakout strategy overall, I think, oh, I have to select some symbols here. I think overall made a good profit. Yes, it did. And you can see super, super solid. There were some losing trades, but I think especially um, gold was performing very good. So range breakout strategy did not trade in US 30. It did trade in the German index with a loss. Okay, these were the first losing trades, I think, in the in the D40 for the range breakout strategy. And then we have USD Japanese Yen. I think there was no trade, correct? US, Euro US dollar was, I think, also no trade. Yeah, but GBP US dollar, there were trades, and I think this was the first uh, first good profits in GPUS dollar with the range breakout EA for the strategy. Yeah, four trades. Three of them were winning trades. One very small loss. So really, really good week here. And then gold. Gold is just on a rampage. Gold is completely crazy. Since I started trading gold with the range breakout strategy, it's just printing money pretty much. I'm totally aware that this is a it was a lucky coincidence that I started at this specific um, time because I did not trade this from the beginning. I started trading it here and you can see just one big win, a loss, one big win, a loss, <laughs> another win, 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 uh, win, win. Like there are so many wins. And I think also last week there was like 
one losing trade, the, the rest was just winning in gold. So gold is, is performing like crazy. Super, super happy that I added it to the portfolio. And then turnaround Tuesday, yeah, I can um, just show it for, for, for all of the um, uh, markets because there was no trade in turnaround Tuesday. So what if I delete the filter? Let's quickly go through the, every, every single strategy for the whole period that I trade this account now. So let's start with uh, the go long strategy in all symbols first. Yeah, it's, it's definitely still good in profit. Made like 2.4K, really, really good. And then let's see where the profits are coming from. I think US 30 made a, sm yeah, made a loss. US tech made a big profit, I guess. Yeah, it's crazy. And DE 40 might be also losing by now. So yeah, all of the profits are coming from US tech right now. Let's see how this develops in the future. Then we do have the range breakout EA. Like overall, I think it made a good profit. Yeah. But most of the profits are, this is interesting, are coming from gold right now. So let's go through the through the symbols. Like um, US 30 is profitable with the range breakout EA. I do not trade it in, uh, in the NASDAQ. I trade it in the German index. And yeah, it came down last week, as we just saw before. It's still a bit in profit. Then we have USD Japanese Yen. Did not trade last week. So it's still at uh, the point where it was one week ago, 600 euro loss here. Then euro dollar made a good prof. I mean, made some profit. It's not really a lot. Also no trade last week. And GPS dollar traded last week, was performing very bad before, but now recovered at least a bit, but is of course still underwater here and waiting for the recovery. And now let's have a look at gold and gold is just performing like crazy. This market is just making money with range back on EA. It's crazy. I'm, I'm totally sure that this cannot continue like this because the profit factor is crazy. Of course, this will not be sustainable in the long run. But for now, I mean, I take it. If I, if I, if I start trading this strategy in a very lucky, at a very lucky point, I will take it, of course. And, and, and this time I was lucky. So last strategy, turnaround Tuesday. There were no trades last week. Overall, I think, yeah, strategy is a bit in profit as it was before. For more details, watch the last video. So this is the update on the, on the live account. I, I do not want to talk too much, just the, the, the really important things that changed. So for me, the main learnings are, oh, I mean, I don't know if I can talk uh, about learnings here, but I see that mo a lot of these losses are coming from the go long strategy, especially in, the, in US 30, which is easily explained if we have a look at the chart. So nothing to worry about. Then gold is just performing like crazy. I'm, it's not really something I can explain because I just traded for like uh, several weeks, but I'm super happy that I do trade it for several weeks because it's, yeah, it made like 3K on the account, um, which, is, which is really a lot. And then, um, yeah, the rest is like range breakout strategy in the other markets is more or less break even, I think a little bit negative, but um, it's it's not a long period of time, so not really something I can I can say a lot about. And turn around Tuesday, there were just no trades last week. For the next next week, there might be a trade in a US 30 in the turnaround Tuesday strategy. If the market goes down a little bit on Monday, it will open a trade because it's close to the moving average. So this little out view uh, into the next week. I do not really see the the trade in uh, wait in 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 the German index or US tech because it's kind of far away from the moving average. So we might see the moving uh, the turnaround Tuesday trade in US 30. And then, yeah, next week will be just a normal week. And yeah, let's see how it goes. I might do some streams so you can follow it on the channel. That's it. Hope you liked the update. Let me know what you think in the, in the comments. Do you think, um, yeah, this portfolio is doing fine? I don't know. Maybe you want to talk about your performance or what I could do better or worse. Every feedback is appreciated as always. And yeah, in the end, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great time. Good trades.